Welcome, dear friends, to our time of devotional reflection for Saturday, April the 15th, 2023. My name is Brian J. Monroe. I'm pastor of Kitimat First Baptist Church in beautiful Kitimat, British Columbia. And this year for devotionals, we are following John MacArthur's devotional book, Drawing Near, Daily Readings for a Deeper Faith. Today's entry is entitled, Showing mercy, mercy, pardon me, showing mercy. We read from scripture, from the gospel of Matthew chapter five, verse seven, blessed are the merciful for they will be shown mercy. Our main thought is there are many ways to show mercy. Pastor MacArthur writes, God delights in mercy, and as a believer, you have the privilege of showing mercy in many ways. In the physical realm, you can give money to the poor, food to the hungry, or a bed to the homeless. God has always wanted his people to be that way. Um, Deuteronomy chapter 15 says, If there is a poor person with you, you shall not harden your heart, nor close your hand from that person but you shall freely open your hand to that person and shall generously lend them sufficient for their need in whatever they lack. Verses seven and eight from Deuteronomy 15. Verses 12 to 14 instruct Israelites who release a slave to provide for the slave's needs. That was the merciful thing to do. In the spiritual realm, you can show mercy by pitying the lost. St. Augustine said, If I weep for for that body from which the soul is departed, how should I weep for that soul from which God is departed? That's cited by Thomas Watson in The Beatitudes, page 144, his book. We mourn over the dead, but do we mourn as much for lost souls? When Stephen was being stoned, he pitied his wretched murderers, asking God to forgive them. That's recorded in the book of the Acts of the Apostles, uh, chapter 7, verse 60. Jesus did exactly the same thing as recorded in the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 23, verse 34, when he said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they're doing. That should be our attitude as well. Another way of showing mercy is to rebuke sin. Now, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 24 to 25 says, And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but must be kind to everyone, able to teach, not resentful. Opponents must be gently instructed in the hope that God will grant them repentance, leading them to a knowledge of the truth. It is merciful and loving to rebuke sinners because it gives them a chance to repent and be forgiven. Prayer is also an act of mercy, as is preaching the gospel. In fact, sharing Christ with someone is the most merciful thing you can do. There are many more ways to be merciful, but I hope this will stimulate your thinking and will encourage you to discover as many ways as possible to pass on the abundant mercy God has shown to you. Dear friends, as always, I I encourage you, I commend you, I thank you for listening to these thoughts that I'm reading from John MacArthur. I've recorded his suggestions for prayer and for further study into the the description portion for this video. And I urge you to read through those and, and follow up on them, particularly the time of prayer and the particular readings and uh, answer the questions that he poses. It's a good discipline for your discipleship walk with Christ. And until we can be together again to hear another devotional thought as presented by Pastor MacArthur, I bid you in the name of Jesus Christ, Shalom.